nice thing about the uh, Brown Hills indoor showroom is that you get to talk to some of the experts and the salespeople here in this lovely warm indoor environment. Okay, we're looking at another Adria. This one's a rather interesting colour. Striking, I'd say, is 68,000 almost. You're going to need another 40 quid to seal the deal. And there. Uh, let's have a quick look inside. This one's a manual. It's on a manual box. And it's got sat nav. And that's a Fiat, nice. isn't it? Yeah. And, and we've got the similar overhead windows that we had in the last van yeah, and the lockers nice that, that lockers. Uh, go right to the front that we saw yeah. in the last van. Nice overhead. Really nice lighting Quite in here. Kinky. Everything seems really light and airy. This is the um, table extended. The table's been extended there so, so you that you can all eat, eat at the table. Which is really nice. Two drivers or passenger seats just here with, with seat belts. The same sink and two Yes, and the kitchen's going to be very similar, isn't okay. it? I'm taking advantage and having a seat. And then the same <laughs> drawers again. We've got the three drawers and the little continental oven. Do it, Steve. And that's where your gas points are. And again, you've got the big fridge again with a separate freezer and a storage space in the bottom for your heavy things, or your veggies, yeah. um, another another drawer here which is a good size for pots and pans and then you've got the same washroom as we just looked at which I really like this idea yeah, with, with the, the swinging with the door, swing and door <clears throat> which then becomes the shower I think that's a great idea mm -hmm. good use of space I like that this and one, then, uh, this bedroom is just different, isn't it? This is the end of it's, the van. It's got a step up. I don't know whether you can... You lift it up, there's a bit of storage underneath. Yep. And then you've got this bit in the middle. Haven't you? Yeah. So you can turn that in. I think you might be able to turn that into more of a lounge, couldn't you? And this, these lift up. Oh, yeah. They? They're on struts. Yeah. Yeah. So if I move this out of way... So instead of a drop down bed, like you've that. got uh, a tip up bed. Yeah, this is a, yeah. a lift up. Yeah, lift up bed. Yeah. So you can get to stuff. So again, there. you can There's store under there. all of your all of your your kit in the back there. Yeah. In the same way as you could the other bed. Slightly different yeah. variation on the previous van. And coming round the back, we'll just swing open the barn door here. And you can see the storage again. And these um, beds here that lift up, and you can uh, clip them up at the top over there so that they're up fully up when you're driving along. And your LPG is in this side. With more storage. We're really getting comfortable with these van conversions this morning. This is the Rapido uh, van conversion and we're with uh, Kevin and Tracy as you know from Yorkshire Motoromas and uh, we're climbing all over this. It's lovely. Sue got quite excited when she saw it. she's in there fiddling with the table. I'll walk you around the back and here he is. I'm here. Hey. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of that then, Kev? Uh, just this Rapido van. What is it? The V something. Yeah, um, yeah I do like this. You like this? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Tracy's okay. just been demonstrating the privacy screen up there. Ah. But look at the size of the bed. So another one where you can uh, get your bikes in the back here, all your kit just, in the I back can't here. Just reach yeah. that bit, but yeah. You've got a lovely wide bed. Yeah. yeah. And this. Uh, side is going to be you can lift it up and, and, and strap right, it up yeah. so that you can keep your, right, your toys right, yeah, in the you side there. Yeah. Yeah. No windows in the back there. No windows in this one Trevor. No, not in the back? No. So you've got your 
once your van doors are shut that you're just yeah. gonna have the plain white back on the van there. There you go. They're getting a little bit different. Yeah, and I mean, uh, I'm not, I don't I can't say I'm too keen on the plain white van doors, you know, they could think the plumber's yeah. just turning up. Nice uh, to have the, the um, windows in the back of the barn doors. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's For socialising, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice, clean, white lines. Let's go inside and see what Sue's got to say. Yeah. So we're going to go inside. You've got the fly screen. Yeah. And then you've got, in the washroom, you've got this nice deep sink. Okay. Do you need to <laughs> look inside it? Yeah, it's nice and deep, isn't it? Really deep. And then you've got a nice little cover like we've got on ours over the two gas hob yep. points. And then above you've got two storage cupboards and a space on here. And then you've got a good sized drawer. Nice deep drawer, yeah. Got continental oven. And yeah. this is a reinforced drawer so you can put tins in it. Yeah. And now, well, you like rails, this? The rails stop things rolling around, in there. And then you put your cans oh, on there. That's very swish. Yeah. For a van conversion, and it's excellent. Tracy's gonna, gonna demonstrate. Tracy's, the, Tracy's getting this seat all bit. tangled up, so I'm gonna leave that one there. So and that one swivels, doesn't it, Tracy? They both swivel, yeah. but I think um, you probably have to pull it further forward. Yeah. But this is quite interesting. When you do that, ah. you've got. Dish up your dinner from the kitchen. And if you were to bring this seat forward, obviously the person sat here can yeah. So have all their four dinner. of you can sit so comfortably four for could dinner. Sit comfortably. Dude's videos, man videos. Yes, so all those things. Yes. <laughs> so. Lovely plush leather. Yeah. And the comfortable seats as well. That's nice right. and bright. Yeah. It's got a big screen for the sat nav. Yeah. Having a look in the cab, yeah, it's nice. Uh... Uh, nice uh, dash. This is the new Fiat Ducato, isn't it? And uh, window above the cab there has got a nice blind. Uh, push that up first. There we go. Yeah. And uh, bins inside there, which are lit. And then a overhead winding handle for the skylight here. And uh, I like the lights in the surround. It's uh, really good. There's lots of really, really nice lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cute, lovely, lovely, and the seats are nicely shaped as you said they've got seat belts and the TV above TV can go on here yeah. the seats do have a good lumbar support as well uh -huh. the, in the yeah just in the yeah lumbar region of your back yeah uh -huh. your pocket in the back for your maps yeah and then you've got your washroom which I'm really impressed considering this yeah well, I've done conversion. it again <laughs> you've led on them again Trev <laughs> I've lent on I lent on the switch. <laughs> uh, put the lights out. There we go. So this is your washroom. Okay. Which I really like. You've got these little cubby holes. Yep. We think there might be something on there, but I don't. Look, look. Toilet. And then your wash basin. Yeah. Little hook on here. I Storage like the, underneath uh, here. I like the decking on the on the floor there. Yeah. And then you swing that swing round and you've got your shower. I and love got, that idea. Yeah. I think it's really good. Yeah, and your mixer tap is here. Yeah. yeah. And you've got a hang and towel and rail, and you've got a wind, it actually winds up and opens a roof light. Yeah. Which is a see through. Yeah, I like that. Well, and the other thing that I, I wanted to point out, you can section this room off. Oh, yes, yeah. You've and got a divider. Container. Yeah. So you can section the bedroom. So you can go off. to bed. He wants to go to bed while the and other And then the other one stays I'm up. Because Jim, this is a panel, you know, van conversion. It feels really spacious. Well thought out, isn't it? You've got your wardrobe really, yeah. here, which is good size. Yeah. Considering that, as I said, this is a van. Yeah. And then you've got storage under here. You think, I think that slides. But, uh, okay. And there's another slider one under there. Yeah. And then under here, you've got a drawer. Yeah. Okay, another drawer. drawer under there and I've ascertained that this lifts up yeah okay um, not the lid the whole thing lifts no. up okay and then you've got your bed in the back your bed in the back yeah and, then and this is the fridge of cupboards yeah here. Got you've also fridge? you've got a big fridge yeah, yeah big fridge. Got, you've got the freezer at the top and then the bottle 
container at the bottom. Okay. And you've also got a little mini concertina curtain round here. So even this bit oh, yeah. can yeah. go across okay. and be cut off. Mm -hmm. You've got in the back, you haven't got any rear windows in the back where the doors are. No. There's storage. Makes a nice and big bed there. There is it? a window each side and this is a a, a see-through roof yeah. push-up roof light. Okay. And this can be lifted up, can't it? Yeah. And then you this just slots off here. Yeah. And then you've got storage and in here. Storage that in all there, lifts yeah. up and you put things in there. So you're great for your toys, I mean you could roll your scooter in there. Yeah. Um, I forgot to mention these little bits we've discovered. So if you go down here, all nice and flush, look. You've got an extension oh, yeah. to your worktop. Oh, and it goes, when it closes down, it's completely flush. You've got a little space here, and yeah. if you press that, you've got a little cupboard in there as well. And another flush cupboard, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to have another look at that, because I, I think you could probably take that out and put your, um, no, hang on. You could put your That's wine good. bottles in there. Yeah. Yeah, store, yeah, the dog approves. Beer store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely van. Yeah, we like that, don't we? We do. We'll come back outside now. We're just wandering out across the yard, and there's the accessory shop. No doubt we'll go in there and have a look. But so uh, we're heading this way, and. Uh, we're going to go and get a, a, a coffee and something to eat. So, uh, car park's just over there. And after we've uh, had something to eat, we're just going to go back and check the dogs. And then we're going to have another look around some of the used vans. So, uh, lots more to do. <laughs> and we've come into the cafe here and uh, we've had Sunday lunch. Look at look, this. Even get a Yorkshire pud. We know how to live, don't we? Don't we just? Oh. Hey? And this is, uh, I think we've oh, all gone. Oh no, the girls have gone yeah. for the pie. We've gone for the steak and kidney yeah. pie. Yeah. And uh, us, us lads have gone for the uh, beef. Roast beef dinner. The roast beef dinner, that's it. Oh, we're yeah. going to dig in. We'll see you afterwards. So we're still at Brown Hills and we're walking past the workshops here now, aren't we? We are, yeah. The, uh, just to uh, round the corner to the right is the workshops. Yeah. Um, we're just coming up to the uh, to the um, members overnight parking area. Oh right, okay. Let's have a little look. Yeah. So we're just going to have a look in here, and this is what you get when you're. Uh, um, a Brown Hills customer. Okay. Uh, it's part of your membership. All right. I'll spin you around. So here we are. Here's the sign, anyway. Yep. And uh, we go around here. Yep. So we do. Uh... So you bring your motor home in here. Yeah. Um, you pick your bay. Mm hmm. I think. There's 30, yep. I'm right. and they've all got uh, electric um, and water on the posts. Yep. And then down in the bottom corner, just down there, is the Elson point. Okay. Um, so so it's, it's a lovely because you've got nice, neat bays, yep. all pretty level, yep. tarmacked, and. Uh, It's a pretend window, so it's not actually a window. But uh, yeah, as you say, there's hookups all the way along here, isn't there, Kev? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. And you you can uh, you can drop your grey waste down the grates in the middle. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So if you're coming to have any work done, you need an overnight. This is where you come. You can also. Yeah. Do they make a charge, Kev? No charge at all. Really? No. Because you you're the you're, you're the be members member. area. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, you can also, if you, if, if, let's like say, if we were on our way down to see you, mm -hmm. um, and we just wanted to stop for a rest, stop overnight, yeah. yeah, 
we could just call in. Oh, excellent. We don't have to be coming to have work done on the van. We can yeah. just call in, have an overnight. Right. You can spend up to a uh, maximum three nights yeah. in any mm -hmm. one time. And I think about 10 nights per year. Okay, yeah. So there is a limit on it, but... There uh, is, yeah. 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 But I think, I think they'd be, to be honest, I think they'd be quite flexible. Yeah, it? sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so and the workshops around here, as you see, the there's workshops several. Are just, uh, just there, left of the Brown Hill side. And there's several vans waiting there to go through, by the looks These of it. Are all the vans that's waiting to go in, yeah. Yeah. Today is Sunday, so the workshops are all closed, but uh, big open space here. And then over the back, I guess, there's storage for their uh, trade vans. Yeah. And this is at the far end of uh, Brown Hill site. Very good. I'd heard about this, but uh, now I've seen it with my own eyes. Great. Here out Club Brown Hills, members only, and uh, all sorts of facilities. Look, yeah, we'll come and have a look, shall we? Look. All right. Got quite this little uh, pathway. I think it might be one or two surprises in here, guys. Yes. Yeah, so what we've got here. This is the members lounge. So you got the members lounge. Oh wow. Very, Dated. Very posh. It's very comfortable. Very <laughs> posh. Very leather. Yeah. Oh you got information, like an information uh, yeah. resources there. Places to visit. That's really good. Somewhere to bring a packed lunch if you... Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. And now this is where smelly vision. I could smell it before I could see it. The swimming pool. Look at that. And there's a little uh, jacuzzi. Yeah. There's sauna to the left. And sauna in the corner. He uh -huh. could have been a poet. I didn't yeah. know it. Very nice. It's a while since I've been for a swim. Do enjoy. Back yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is all very nice, isn't it? A nice big plasma screen to watch. Uh, oh, this is open as well. Four hours a day. Well, wow. lovely. Mm -hmm. There's a little kitchen. Yeah, you've got a washing machine and tumble dryer. Look, yeah. Washing up sinks. There's a kettle. Uh -huh. um, a water machine. So. And this is all for club members. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. You do get looked after. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's good, isn't it? You certainly do. All right, yeah, but I picked some up last time. There's no deal with the toilet. Okay. So you've got uh, the gents' facilities here. And I uh, oh, don't normally go around the gents' loos, do we? Not, not so <laughs> But uh, all right, so it's almost set up like a campsite, really, aren't they? It really is set up like a campsite. Yeah, with the showers. Yeah, yeah lovely. And changing yeah. facilities for the pool. And lockers for the pool, yeah. 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 Very good. And a changing room. And I have to say, it's lovely and warm. You know, it's uh, great if you want to go for a swim. <laughs> right, time to go in the accessories shop, I think, Kev. Yeah. Let's go and see uh, what they got. I can come out of here yeah. without spending I left my wallet inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got all the plates. Water containers a little further along here. We're in the used motorhome section here at Brown Hills, uh, wandering around. There's some particularly nice uh, used vans here. 
um, all sorts of uh, van conversions and coach belts really clean looking vans they've got a nice uh, array of stock now which is good to see because I think they've struggled over the months recent year or so with uh, stock but uh, there is a nice selection down here in the compound well that's it from Brown Hills we've been here for ooh, four or five hours had lunch we've looked all around the vans been in a lovely shiny showroom and it's time to go back to the campsite now so I hope you enjoyed that little tour and a few van uh, walkthroughs as well so while since we've done any so we're a bit rusty but anyway look them up I'll put Brown Hills details in the description below we do offer our thanks to them for uh, allowing us to film here and uh, they did give us a very warm welcome so thank you for that and uh, we'll be back to see Brown Hills some other time just off the A1 at Newark Till next time then, bye bye.